When the car plummeted off the bridge, even for those who saw it happen, it wouldn't register. Oh, yeah, not at all. Not at all. I could not believe it. Alyssa Irvin was just behind this semi and in the middle of it all. I was just like two cars behind the semi, actually. She says it appeared the crash began somewhere in front of the truck and then the semi began to skid. And once it hit the left side, all these other cars were getting into accidents, and then it went over to the right side of the wall. And once it hit the right side, the car just went plunged right over. Alyssa says she felt helpless as the vehicle disappeared over the edge. I didn't think it was going to go over once I seen it all happening. I was just like, oh, man. And then you just see it go over, and you're just, you don't know what to do. I just. And when the traffic stopped, witnesses say the chaos continued. Um, once I got out, there's all these other cars. People are running, and you just the lady next to me is screaming, so I was really scared. All of the cars have been impounded. The owners haven't been able to have them assessed or even take a picture of them yet. Meanwhile, the wait continues to recover the vehicle from the Ohio River. Divers need the current to run no faster than one and a half miles an hour. Last week, it was at five miles an hour. Today, the current was measured at 2.8 miles an hour. Now, those who were there are only thankful it wasn't worse. As many cars that got into this accident, we're we should be really grateful that nobody else went over. Now, police believe they know who the victim is, but they are not going to make a positive identification until they've made a recovery. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.